Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about the applied mathematics in a Biblical Hebrew. In our previous conversations, we show a relation between the Hebrew letters and numbers known as Gimatria. But today I would like to go a bit further into the mathematics or the applied mathematics of the Biblical Hebrew. For this reason, we shall read one verse from Genesis 27, 22. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. Now I shall read a verse in Hebrew. Vaigash Yaakov el Yitzchak Aviv Vayemushehu Vayomer Hakol Kol Yaakov Vahayadaim Yedei Esav. Here, Isaac in this verse is already old, he cannot see, his eyes are heavy, he doesn't have a visual abilities, and he feels, he feels the hairy hands, and he says, This is the hands of Esau, because Esau was a hairy man. But the voice is the voice of Jacob. Isaac noticed a dichotomy. The inner, the voice of Jacob, is not the external, the hands of Esau. Usually when people read this verse, they think about ancient people who lived thousands of years before our time. But if we look at the Hebrew Bible, as applied mathematics, what happens if we turn or convert the letters into numbers? What kind of a truth is being revealed to us, to each and every one of us in his personal life? For the whole Bible speaks about one human being. Each and every one of us humans on this planet, almost 8 billion people, are a reflection of this human spirit. Now, when we look into this verse, the words, the letters, and the reflections in number, what kind of a truth the Bible wants to show us. Let's focus on the first term, Kol Yaakov. Kol Yaakov, the voice of Jacob. The term Kol Yaakov. Kol is voice or sound. In this case, it's a voice. Kol Yaakov is Jacob. So, Kol Yaakov is the voice of Jacob. The value of the word Kol which is voice, is 136. The value of the name Jacob is 182. The value of both of these words together, Kol Yaakov, Kol Yaakov, is 318. For 136 and 182 give us together the value of 318. 318 is the value of the word siach in Hebrew, which is a conversation and also a bush. So, in other words, the term the voice of Jacob, Kol Yaakov, refers to the ability inside of us 
to have a conversation, to handle a conversation. For every conversation has three dimensions, like the three sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Yefet, the word Siach, or 318, stands for the conversation that the tree of life is conversing in us. Another aspect is the following. When we divide the number 318 to 3, we come up with 106. 106 is the value of the Hebrew word for kav. Kav. Kav is a line. So, whenever we meet the word siach, which is conversation, or the term, the voice of Jacob, kol Yaakov, the Bible hints at an inner reality that is composed of three lines. The middle line is Yefet, beautiful, the right line of the tree of life, which is Shem, the name, which is in charge of the flow, infinite flow, and the left line of the tree of life, which is Ham. Three lines, three double one hundred and six, is three hundred and eighteen, like the term Kol Yaakov, the voice of Jacob. And from this point of view, we can understand why Jacob loves Rachel, but not from the romantic aspect, because all the names in the Bible, all the places, the rivers, the mountains, the occasions are within one person. So, the voice of Jacob, Kol Yaakov, is referring to the ability in us to have a conversation. Now, the question is, what conversation? Because we have inner conversation of the mind, and this is the relation that Jacob in us has with Leah in us, the unconscious Leah, for the name Leah is written with three letters, Lamed, Aleph, He, and with the same letters we write the word Ohel, which is a tent in English, and this word implies of the hidden aspect in life, both words has the value of 36. 36 is one tenth of 360 full circle. So the voice of Jacob in us from one side, the voice of Jacob in us refers to the ability to have a conversation with the hidden, with the unconscious, with Leah in us, the aspect of night in us, the unknown, and with the day in us, with the conscious. From this aspect, we can also understand why Jacob loves Rachel because if the voice of Jacob symbolizes the ability to converse, the conversation wants to be revealed to the world. This is why Jacob loves Rachel. At the moment we don't have enough time 
to go into the inner meaning of the name Rachel, but every person wants to be heard. We as humans who were given from the infinite the ability to speak, we would like to express this infinite love in words, with the known words that everybody understand. This is why Jacob loved Rachel. The conversation in us, the ability to converse in us, wants to have a recognition in the world. The Bible says about Rachel that she was beautiful to look at. When we bring unknown things to the daylight, or when we bring the treasures of the unconscious to the conscious, it's beautiful. Everything is in order, everything is in place, everything makes sense. This is why the aspect of conversation in us, which is manifested by the name, the voice of Jacob, loves Rachel. Because the voice of Jacob, the inner steam in us that has this conversation, wants to dress in known words, in beautiful words. Like in a winter day, people wear gloves on their hands and they go and they walk in the snow. Their hand is dressed in a glove. The glove is external fabric or external weaved wool. The glove cannot move by itself unless if we move our hand. In the same manner, the voice of Jacob, the ability to speak, is the inner breath that wants to be revealed by the known word. Because like in Genesis 1, when we have a speech, we have a day, everything illuminate. When there is a cognition or recognition, everything is clear, everything is bright, everything in its place. And there is a sense of a great joy and goodness because the light is good. So from this aspect, from the applied mathematics, we can understand why the voice of Jacob in us, this inner steam, the inner conversation, wants to be delivered to the world by the beauty of the word that Rachel represents. Rachel is not just an ancient, beautiful lady that lived in the past. Rachel is the ability in us to address the world with coherent, clear speech. This is why Jacob in us, and this is not just a historical story, it would be good if we could understand that the Bible is not a historical story. It's a system that operates the world. It's an operating system of the world. So the voice of Jacob in us loves Rachel. We as humans do not like vague situation, foggy situation, chaotic situation. We don't like this aspect. We like that everything is clear, everything in its place. Like in the daylight, we see this is a tree, this is a flower, this is a road, this is our way, this is the light, and the light is good. We don't like the absence of order, we don't like the absence of light, we don't like unknown situation. But specifically from unknown situation, the key to the light is the darkness. This is why 
the aspect of Jacob in us always, always moves to the unknown, to the hidden, to the tent, to Leah, to the unconscious in us that will bring us eventually to the next morning, to the next illumination, to the next spoken words, the recognizable words, to the next spoken and revealed conversation. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.